since this video was filmed before we hit 10,000 subscribers, yay! I'd like to welcome all you munchkins and say thank you for your support. Hello munchkins, welcome back to my channel with me Shina. So today we're doing another um, casual video, like very casual. So I was making, I was about to make dinner and um, for dinner I wanted to make uh, like some sort of like roasted potato sausage dish and I figured like I'll bring you guys along with me. I, I was just like in the mood of filming but then like my kitchen is in like such a mess. So if you guys see dishes like in the background, please just ignore them because <laughs> I'm probably not going to wash them right now. Like I'm just going to start off on the dinner that I'm planning to make and then maybe I'll clean up as I go I'll see but anyway yeah so don't judge the dishes please <laughs> we don't like cleaning our dishes I know some of you can relate like we've been on Instagram like you know I've mentioned that a lot so yeah so let's get uh, to the dish so I have some vegetables that have kind of like started to shrivel which I want to use up like have some capsicums and I'm also going to add some carrots as well so I don't know we'll see with whatever I have like in the fridge and then we're just going to dump that all together so in the meantime I just want to like clear up like <laughs> I just want to clear up like this side so I can use that side and then probably dump everything on that side <laughs> job tidying up we have like a clean surface to work from <laughs> so we're just going to go ahead and get started and um, for the ingredients I've decided I'm using um, the sausages that I mentioned earlier and they like using spicy sausages then I'm also going to use capsicums that are like kind of shriveled up then we're using some carrots um, onion for the herbs I'll decide they have like um, rosemary and uh, this one like once fresh but now they're like dry so there's rosemary in here, there's some parsley, and there's some um, thyme. So I'll probably use thyme and rosemary. And then these are my potatoes. If I had more, I've added only have like six potatoes. For the seasoning, I'll decide as I'm making. So I also I'm planning to use like some dry chilies, some paprika, some black pepper, and some salt, and then some oil. So usually when I have like um, vegetables that have started to like wilt or they're not looking their best, I personally like prefer roasting them. Like sometimes I'll make a soup, but most times I prefer like just um, roasting them in the oven because that way they like develop like these like nice um, earthy sweet flavors and usually you can spice them with whatever you like. So I always prefer having them that way instead of like wasting them. So I'm just going to start by peeling um, the potatoes. Though sometimes I have them with the skin on, but today I feel like peeling them. And then I'm just going to transfer them there. Also my potatoes had like kind of started to go soft, like just a little bit. So sometimes it's harder to peel um, the potatoes when they're a little bit soft with the peeler. So I'm just going to be using like a paring knife. So we're done peeling our potatoes so I'm just going to rinse this and then cut them into half. So I'll pour this water out then rinse them again. So after I've cut my potatoes, I've drained their water and then I'm just going to pat them dry because I don't want them to have like any um, water on them when I'm seasoning them. And then I'm going to set them aside as I chop the other vegetables. So once they're like patted dry, I'm just going to transfer them to like the tray because I plan to do like all my mixing together in there. 
So I've given my carrots um, a quick rinse and then now I'm just going to slice them. bunch of garlic because I'm like there's no need to leave like these little ones I don't feel like there's such a thing as too much garlic <laughs> but you can definitely do less so I'm just going to bash that So for the sausages I'm going to use like um, eight of them that way I can have like leftovers and like I mentioned I like to use like the spicy pork or basically like some types of sausage that has like some season extra seasoning in it so that way it's like more flavorful. Also for the sausages I like to give them like a quick prick so that that way whatever I'm marinating them in like will also absorb some of the moisture and also that way like when they're roasting the oven they don't like puff up like explode. <laughs> So I'm going to season this heavily with um, black pepper, paprika, some dry chilies. For the dry chilies, I'm just going to break them in. And then I'm also going to go in with like some dry thyme, like a bunch of stems. So I'm just going to rub some of the leaves off, but then I'm also going to throw the stems in. And then we're also going to add some rosemary. For the rosemary, I'm just going to like break it off. And then we're going to add some salt, like a lot of um, salt. Just season that all around. Then we're going to finish off by drizzling some olive oil. So we're going to drizzle in the olive oil and then mix this like really, really well. So this is pretty much ready to go into like um, the oven and for the potatoes if you have a look um, you'll notice like I've made sure like they are like at the bottom touching the bottom and the sausages are like on top so this is going to roast for like about 40 minutes but I'll probably check on it like halfway also just to note that my potatoes were not that big so if you have like larger potatoes then you want to cut them like a bit smaller than that so that way everything can cook like almost um, close together. Also look how good everything looks. Ooh, I cannot wait to dig into this. Like everything is just so well mixed. Oh, the colors look so beautiful. And the flavors, I can just imagine. Oh, yum, I can't wait for this to be ready. <laughs> I'm waiting for my dinner to cook I should probably be clearing up but <laughs> I'm like I probably won't anyway but sometimes I do this so usually like if I have like a lot of dishes to wash and I just don't feel like cleaning which is like all the time because we cook a lot and I always have like dishes that pile up usually I'll set up like a 10 minute timer and then I'll just wash the dishes like for 10 minutes or like 15 minutes and then once the timer goes off I kind of just stop where I am and then yeah I call that a wrap for that day Though <laughs> sometimes if I'm feeling inspired and then I get into the mood after like the 10-15 minutes then I'll just continue washing but yeah that's usually like my little hack to try and get my dishes washed but it clearly does not always work <laughs> also to make the time go faster as I'm washing my dishes I always listen to like um, some sort of like playlist in the background currently I'm really enjoying music like from DVSN if you guys have heard of him oh like his music is just so Mm, it's like that R&B kind of vibe kind of music. I'm like listening a lot to him and like uh, this other artist called Ro James Actually, I don't know if you pronounce his name as Ro James or R.O. James 
Hmm. Anyway, those are like the artists I've been currently listening to and usually I play like the music like just in the background like on YouTube And then other times it's like some sort of like indie kind of indie folk music Other times it's just like kind of instrumental like chill vibe like the chill hop sort of like lo-fi music So honestly just not really depends like what I'm in the mood for then we'll just play that and then time goes so fast as I'm washing the dishes that I'm like ah oh, Yay, we've gotten something done <laughs> Actually, I'll find out if I can link the playlist like down below since YouTube does um, This thing where they just like automatically like play for you the music and sometimes you can save it So I'll find out if I can like copy that link and just yeah leave it for you guys if You want to listen to like the music I've currently been listening to <laughs> So these have been cooking in the oven for like about um, 25 minutes and you can see like the sausages have like already like um, brown so I'm just going to turn them so the other side can also like brown and also like maybe turn like um, the potatoes as well or turn from the bottom just so that nothing um, sticks. So so far the potatoes are looking like really nice and um, roasted you can see they've already like started to like uh, crisp up the same to the carrots. So everything is looking pretty good so i've just done our sausages and then we're just going to let that cook for like maybe another 15 minutes or so and we're pretty much done Ooh, guys so our sausage potato veggie roast is like ready oh everything looks so nice and delicious <laughs> yum so i just want to turn this like um around I almost forgot to show you guys like what um the garlic looks like since I roasted it like um whole. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that here. Yeah, so it's nice and mushy on the inside. Yeah, um, I love like when my garlic like roasts like that. They smell like so nice and soft and like nice and caramelized. So I've just given everything like a good mix so that like um the oils and um flavors can all like um infuse. So now we're just going to go ahead and serve. Okay, so I'm thinking if you decide to make this at home, maybe turn the sausages like just a bit um, earlier since I turned them like after about 25 minutes because I feel like maybe they browned a bit too much like on one side. But anyway, it's all good. Everything looks nice and delicious. Ooh. It is time to dig in. I'm like this should be so nice and like spicy because of the chili. Mm -mm 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 -mm. potato is like nice and soft and like um crunchy on the outside Ooh. and the chili hits you after oh this is so delicious and then we have our carrot our carrot is like really nice and roasted and like soft and you can taste like all the sweetness in it oh it's delicious mm. Our sausage tastes um, divine uh, because you can taste like um, the flavors from the outside, the thyme on it, or in the spiciness because I said it was like a spicy sausage plus the extra spice. Also, I have like some sauces. I have like um, chili garlic sauce and um, choma sauce. So I think I'm going to go with like the choma sauce because it's going to add like um, a bit of some smokiness. This choma sauce only really has like some sort of like smoky-ish um, flavor to it. Ooh. I think you guys are just going to watch me eat. <laughs> mm. That sauce for the the chama sauce, it's like really, it's normally like um sweet and um smoky, like smoky sweet. So guys, if you've never tried like roasting your vegetables, maybe give it a try. I think give it a try once so you can know what it tastes like. It really changes the flavor of the vegetables and gives it like this really rich depth, um, kind of like char grilled flavor basically. Like it's really, really nice and in depth. Okay guys, we're pretty hungry. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll just keep eating. So we're just going to wrap it up um, right now. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also i hope it gave you um like ideas that you can use their vegetables like if you started to like wilt or maybe like um you've never tried roasting your vegetables before at least now you know you can roast them and you can combine this with like um chicken if you want to it doesn't have to be like um sausages so yeah just make it happy whatever you may have um at home yeah so if you enjoyed this video again like give it a thumbs up and um i'll do my best to list the ingredients down below of everything that i used and i'll see you guys in the next video or oh, subscribe to the channel as well and of course i'll see you guys in the next video bye, bye.